What's going on you guys? So sitting right here in front of me, I have two amazing turbos. The GTX 4508R by Garrett and the new G45 1500. The new G45 series is the successor to the previous GTX series. And they've made a lot of changes that make these turbos not only a little bit more compact, but much more efficient. So for starters, the size. So dimensionally, this turbo is about 32 millimeters smaller than the GTX 4508R. That'll make fitting this turbo in tighter compact areas a little bit easier. And another thing you might notice is the actual intake inlets for these turbos. While the GTX 4508R had a six inch intake on it, the G45 reduces down to a five inch. Now, I don't know if you've ever tried routing a six inch intake before, but it's not exactly easy. If you're just using a velocity stack style intake for it or doing a screen mesh, then it's not that big of a deal. But if you do want to route like a tube intake, there are a lot more options available for a five inch. So changing this over to a five inch intake is something I'm actually really glad they did because it will make the ergonomics of routing an intake so much easier. So the G45 1500 here comes with dual ceramic ball bearings with steel cages. It has water cooling ports available for it. The wheel sizes have changed from the 4508R over to the G45 1500 as well. On the GTX, it was a 80 millimeter inducer. And on the G45, it actually went down to a 76 millimeter inducer. And the x deucer on the compressor on the GTX was a 108, while the x deucer on the G45 is a 109. So a little bit smaller on the inducer with one millimeter larger on the exducer. Now turning these over to the hot sides, the turbine housings and the turbine wheels. So the exducer on the GTX 4508R went from an 80 millimeter up to an 82 millimeter on the new G45. The inducer on the G45 is now two millimeter larger as well, going up to 89 millimeter. So hot sides a little bit bigger. So the only thing that really went down in size on this was the compressor inducer went down to a 76 millimeter from an 80. now while i have these flipped around here i want to note one of the things that i am so happy they changed on the new g45 series stainless turbine housings no more rusty turbine housings like we would get on all the previous generation turbos this new change over to stainless is absolutely beautiful not to mention the turbine wheels are ink and out Another thing you can see here while I have it turned around is the backing plate on the compressor side on the GTX was a cast iron backing plate, which adds a ton of weight to a turbo. So big, heavy turbo, cast iron backing plate. Whereas on the new G45, they switched that over to a nice billet machined aluminum piece, which takes a pretty significant amount of weight off of the turbo. It's a big boy, it's a big boy. While I have these facing you, you might notice that there has been another change as well. The aerodynamics on the wheels have been changed and redesigned. So while the GTX 4508R incorporates an 11 blade wheel, the new G45 has a 13 blade wheel design. Now with that and the new Inconel turbine wheel with a 1.44 AR hot side on this, this turbo can flow up to 56 pounds a minute and produce up to 14% more efficiency than the GTX 4508R. Now while the GTX 45 series had two different variants, it had the GTX 4508R, which was an 80 millimeter compressor, and the GTX 4502R, which was a 76 millimeter compressor, the new G45 has three different versions available. There's the 67 millimeter G45 1125, which is capable of 1,125 horsepower. The 72 millimeter version, the G45 1350, which is capable of 1,350 horsepower. And the 76 millimeter you see here, which is the G45 1500, which is capable of flowing up to 1,500 horsepower. Now all three versions of the G45 do share the same hot side. So they all have the same Inconel turbine wheel, which is a 84 trim, 89 millimeter inducer, 82 millimeter exducer wheel. And all three can share and interchange the same hot side, which is a stainless T4 twin scroll divided housing with a four inch outlet out the back. So apples to apples, this turbo wins in every comparison to this one. Less weight, more compact, capable of producing much more horsepower, stainless housings, built aluminum backing, and incorporates a speed sensor port. For all you guys out there that love data logging and getting all the data you can get, incorporating a speed port on here, great touch. And they're both uh, three and a half inch outlets out of the compressor as well with V-bands. So V-bands are nice, you don't have to worry about blowing charge pipes off. So 
having a V-band is always a great touch. Now, while there has been a lot of changes and upgrades to this turbo from its previous version, well, I can't even really call it a version, the previous generation of that turbo, I'd say my two favorite changes that they've made to this would have to be the build aluminum backing and the stainless turbine housing because anybody out there that runs turbos knows how ugly a cast iron turbine housing gets after a very, very, very short period of time. Stainless housing will keep everything nice and pretty. Not to mention when you go to take a turbo apart, you won't have to fight it for an hour and a half with hammers and chisels and PV blaster to get it separated. Stainless housings come apart pretty nice and easy. So there you have it. Not a super technical in-depth review, but just kind of going over a little bit of the uh, basic changes that they've made on the 45 series turbos between the two of them. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this one. If you guys wanna see me actually build a turbo kit for this turbo, it's gonna be built for an LS engine. 5.7 liter for my Mustang. So if you want to see that, make sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll be sure to do a video on that when I get around to actually building the turbo kit for this thing. Like I was saying, that's going to be it for this one. So like the video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, follow the build along. Till the next one, I'll catch you guys later.